uh, welcome to another episode of Levi in the Closet. I hope that you are all having a great day today. Uh, I got something on my mind I'd like to talk about, but of course, first to start this off, I got one piece of clothing out of my closet today. This is what I wore today. This is oh, this is my shirt from Grilled Cheese Grill. This was one of my favorite places to eat. I went there, my old, old ex, um, this is where we went on our very first date and now it's uh sadly closed down in 2021 that was uh it was like one of my favorite places to get a grilled cheese sandwich and they would make them so different and you could go sit on a school bus and enjoy it like you feel like a little kid again eating on the on the bus and it was really cool and i really enjoyed it and i took people there i took a lot of girls there on dates and it's always it was always a good place to go and i always enjoyed it <clears throat> and sadly it is no more just like all, a lot of places that I enjoyed around Vancouver, Portland area. Um, another one bites the dust, I guess. But um, <clears throat> it was really nice. Like, it's a three-quarter sleeve shirt. And now that I'm, you know, I've been working out and going to the gym more, it's a little bit tighter. Like, it used to be big on me, which is funny. But now, as I've filled out more, like, in the shoulders and I've been, you know, getting more muscle here, now it's kind of tighter, which I kind of like. But I never want to get rid of that shirt just because you know, I'll probably never be able to get another one now. There's a lot of places like that that I have shirts of that the places have probably closed by now. And that, you know, I want to have a little piece just to remember that by. And some place that I went and that I enjoyed the food and that hopefully, hopefully some of these aren't closed that I can go revisit. But yeah, that was a major impact to my year was when Grilled Cheese Grill closed down because of, I think just because of this whole COVID situation, a lot of places have closed. But I digress. <clears throat> so the topic of today's video is something a little bit touchy. So mom and dad, if you're watching this video, I apologize. Or just don't watch now. <laughs> you can just stop watching right now. But um, yeah, I was thinking this morning about porn, pornography. Um, what, made it, what made me think of this was actually that I watched porn this morning and I jerked off. Which I, th I think is normal. And if that already has upset you or got you uncomfortable at any point talking about jerking off or porn, then just leave the video right now because I don't know how this is going to go. But, <laughs> um, I was raised in a Christian household and so a lot of things like that, like sex before marriage or like drugs and drinking, like smoking weed, which I, so, which I do, <laughs> um, or like watching porn. Things like that were just really like frowned upon, or t like I'm I don't remember ever getting a good reason why not to. Just like it's bad, I was told it's bad. It's something that you shouldn't do because it's bad, which I don't think is a good enough explanation for any child or anybody in general. Just because oh this is good or bad, like what makes it good or bad? What makes one thing better than another thing? Or what makes one thing worse than something else? I don't understand that, and to me that's where I'm gonna try to clarify in this video today just for other people that are in my situation I'm 25 years old now um I can't remember how old I was the first time I ever saw something but I remember I did have a friend and he, he had like playboy pictures and they weren't full nudes but he did show me some of those because he got them from his dad but that was my first I think encounter with anything like that and he would show me like pictures on his computer of like like suggestive pictures I guess you'd say and I was young but it wasn't like anything that bad until he like told me he was like oh yeah if you want to look at these websites like you know different websites he told me and I was like oh okay and then as you know after I did get access to the internet like I didn't have a phone that had access to the internet at the time like iPhones were just probably coming out at this point so not everybody had immediate access and I wasn't gonna like go home on the family computer and look up this stuff like I waited, you know, quite a while before I got an iPod video, actually, when it came out. I bought my first iPod video, and then I used that to look up porn. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a little bit about my history with that. Um, so what's it now? Probably, I'm 25, it's probably been at least 10 years of watching porn, and not consistently, and, um... I don't know, it's not like I have a habit of it, it's just something I think like a lot of people probably deal with, like men and women, I'm not exactly sure, like statistics wise, but I know there's women out there, I know you're out there, 
don't don't be ashamed of it. I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of because it's like so normal now. Why is it so taboo? It doesn't make sense. But I think once things like that get mm -hmm. talked about, then we can all help and discuss like, okay, we can come to a better understanding instead of it being so like so taboo of a topic. I want to be able to talk to my kids about this in the future. Like when I have a son and if he asks me questions or like maybe he doesn't, but he just needs some kind of clarity on these things. I don't want to just be like, well, it's bad. Just don't do it. I want to give him a real good answer. So part that's part of my thing today. Um, yeah, I don't, I understand there's like a lot of different psychological problems that come along with that. Like that you might not think because people will say, Oh, well, it objectifies women. Yes, it does. But I think more in a sense that it makes you lust after a woman more. Not that, oh, it's just like, oh, a girl is just there for a sexual, to meet my sexual needs. It's like, no, now I see women and then I'm, you know, I want something sexual from them. Or like, I see women and I'm only seeing that that's what they can provide. Not that's, that they're an object or you're thinking like, oh, this is just like, just a way for me to get off or something like that. It's more like, but now you're trying to talk to more women. You're trying to seduce women just for this, the, the satisfaction of them sexually gratifying you some way. Like, that's a huge negative thing for me, too. And I, tr I try to separate that in my mind. Like, if I do look at porn, I don't see it as, like, I'm expecting this from every person or I'm expecting this from every girl or anything like that at all. But I think that does subconsciously get put into your mind. So it's like, oh, anytime I see a girl, I can't just be her friend, like, treat her like a normal person, it's like, oh, our end up, our main goal is going to be to have sex, or something like that, like, I don't know, maybe not directly, but in some way, that's something that I think is conveyed to us through porn. Another thing is, you see a lot of guys that are really hung on this thing, or on any website, you know, and then you feel like, oh, maybe I feel bad about myself, like, but if any girl judges you just on the size of of what you got what you got to work with and she doesn't enjoy that or she doesn't like you for some reason because of that for one forget about it because she should love you for you you love yourself and she loves you because you love yourself and just accept this is who i am like i have what i have i've been blessed with what i've been blessed with and you take it or leave it like that's all you get this is what you get <laughs> not that i like I don't know, I'm not at all complaining. I'm happy, like, I don't know, but but watching porn does make me feel that way sometimes. I'm like, dang, these dudes have, like, you know, like, they're hung. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not to be too, uh, I try to, not to swear or anything, like, or anything too, uh, too bad on here. Keep it appropriate. But, you know, that this is kind of an interesting subject to talk about, so makes me have to come up with different words and think a little bit more <laughs> which I enjoy <clears throat> but then but yeah you see that all the time and like okay maybe you're not inadequate so to speak but maybe seeing that and you see like tons of guys and it's like well this is all you see and it's like man am I gonna be able to satisfy my woman the way that he is doing here and then it puts you like you're thinking less of yourself because you're like man I have to reach this high level of like this high level of just like pounding and pounding and pounding. <laughs> That's like a whole nother subject. Like, <laughs> but then there's also the side of it that like I was like what I said before, I was raised in a Christian home. So should that be your main goal is to have sex and just like have meaningless sex like in porn? Like that's just like multiple partners. Like, and not that anything's wrong with just like, okay, I've dated, I've gone out with people, but like, is it your goal to just have sex with a bunch of people? And if so, why? Like, look deeper into that. Like, there is a need in all of us to, like, connect to somebody and have intimacy. But then if you're just, like, I don't know. I haven't had sex with a lot of partners. Like, I, or, I don't know why it's such a weird thing to say. Like, with women, with girls, you know, I haven't had a lot of sex. I've had good experience. I've, you know, I'm not at all inexperienced. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. But I'm just, you know, I also, in my mind, I have standards. Like, I'm not just out here trying to have sex with everybody. And that's another thing. Like, are you just dating to try to have sex? Are you only talking to girls because you want sex from them? Sometimes I feel that way. Like, 
it comes and goes and I just have to get over that. And that's part of why I think porn is helpful because then you don't have to put that onto somebody else. You don't have to try to, you know, get some kind of sexual pleasure from them. It, you can treat people or you can treat another girl like just another person instead of as a sexual object. And, and I'm not just trying to say it in that way. It's hard to say that with the limited vocabulary that we have. But I don't mean it just as like everybody else says, oh, you see women as a sexual object. You've heard that all before. I mean that on like a deeper level, like a deeper emotional level <clears throat> that you can't get past that. Like that might be hard to like just have a conversation with a girl without your mind ever going to sex. Try doing that. That's not always easy. Like <laughs> maybe just from a guy's perspective, but I think that's the challenge. Like I try to do that. And I mean, I do try to do that it's hard and just challenge yourself and just be like, okay, what am I normally taught to do? Think of women in a sexual way. Okay. Then just, you know, next time you talk to a girl, try to avoid that. Or <laughs> like, what are your intentions? They say that a lot. Like, what are your intentions with my daughter? Well, <laughs> like, are your intentions just to have sex and to hook up? Or is it, oh, I'm trying to take care of this person, make her my wife, and then we'll worry about sex later. You know, like, what do you, what do you intend to do while you date? If things go there, like, I see it a little bit differently now. I don't see it as you, you have to wait until you're married to have sex. But I don't think just going out and just, like, going on a dating app and saying, well, I'm here, I'm, I'm ready to hook up. I'm just looking for hookup partners. People do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think in a healthy way, you need to, okay, we're dating we let the one thing lead to another we've been going out for a while then if it you know whatever happens happens not that well maybe it could happen on a first date but then that there has to be like a strong connection for me there would have to be a strong connection there in order for that to happen like you know like something amazing happens like an amazing connection you just don't see it you don't expect it and then you know it's just like an in the moment thing but i've never done that not that I haven't, or that I won't, but I just think you need to kind of pace yourself. Or, like, if that's something that you've already done, like, I have a friend, and he told me he's trying to, you know, he's trying to pull back a little bit. He doesn't want to just be worried about, you know, having sex. He wants to actually find somebody to connect with and have a meaningful relationship with. And that's important. That's something that should be your goal, not... Oh, I just want to hook up with a bunch of people. And then porn will kind of perpetuate that. But then also, on the other hand, <clears throat> it kind of helps you stay abstinent. Like, I've gone for a while without having sex. <laughs> Not that that's something I'm super proud of, but I mean, people should be more proud of that. Like, no fap, I guess you could say. Or without porn, too. Like, going without porn without a long time or going for a long time without watching any porn is good for you and just to take a little break just to cleanse yourself like you don't need to just stop and don't think oh i i'm an awful person because i do this or like i felt that weight i still do i think sometimes like i feel like a terrible person i feel disgusting and i feel like why am i watching this why am i why am i such a terrible person but really it's like oh yeah i'm human i can't help it i'm a man this is like <laughs> That's what I'm naturally meant to do. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm meant to reproduce and to, you know, get a female pregnant. Like, I'm meant to reproduce, have offspring. Like, you know, spread my seed. That's what every man's meant to do. That's what, you're, that's what you should do. But doing it in a way that isn't just mindless and, like, giving yourself out there. Like, have more respect for yourself, if anything. Like, why does every girl deserve to be with you? If you're going to be with 100 women... Did they really all deserve to be with you? Did they all treat you right? Did they all earn that? Or did you just, oh, it's available to me and I'm ready to hook up now. So I'm just going to do it. I don't know. It's really up to you. It's how you see things as a priority. But if you love yourself, you will value yourself in a way that sex is less of a priority. Like, being intimate with somebody, that can be a priority. Or things like that, when it doesn't turn into lust. Like, when you're not lusting after a woman... Where you're not constantly just thinking about, like, oh, when are we going to be in a situation when we can, you know, 
get sexual or whatever. It's like, what are you doing just to have fun? Or what are you doing to work on yourself? Or what are you doing that is good for both of you that you can enjoy doing together? Like, going out on just a date, but not just like, okay, we're just going to have a fun date, you know? Something like that. That's important. Work on that. And, yeah, and I want to be able to teach that to my son someday. That Here's how, if you are going to, don't be just watching porn all the time. Like, I try not to. Some days it's like, okay, like maybe two days, three days in a row. I don't know. But, t t like, for me, <laughs> I stutter there. <sighs> but, like, in the past, I don't think I've, like more than twice a day jerked off more than twice a day that just seems like too much to me like i don't think i could physically do that <laughs> and also another reason why i don't i think is because i work in the newspaper my hands are like always so black like they have ink all over them i don't want to be touching myself with that and getting that rubbed into my you know my unit no <laughs> i want to be clean and you know not have ink down there so like even my hands i think too dirty sometimes so why would I be, you know, I try not to touch my face and stuff, but I do. I can't help it. Anyway, I digress from that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's all about just like taking care of yourself, getting to a better place. Anything in moderation, okay, fine, but don't overdo it. Like, you don't need to be watching too much. Like, <laughs> dial it back. Or like, can you go a whole week and reward yourself at the end of the week? <laughs> you know, make it through a work week, reward yourself on Sunday. And then just relax and then go back to work, you know, like, I don't know, things like that. And it's really up to you. You just make it a priority. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, really, that's all I got to say today. Love yourself before anybody else. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And, oh, if you have any questions or you have anything that you want me to talk about, just leave a comment or, you know, get a hold of me somehow. I got plenty of ways you guys can contact me, figure it out. <laughs> I'm easy to reach. But, uh, but yeah, talk to you guys later.